Let's go for another one. Third time's the charm. Need one metagenic. Alone. Chrono. Box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Alpha Centauri to a bunch of idiots. Must resist urge to open fire. Must resist urge to open fire! Gah. Off with you and your junky NX. God damn it. Did he have an NX on there, though? It was, it was an NX, but did it actually have an NX? Now I'm curious. I have to see. Let's catch up with him. Does yours have an NX? I have to drop. I have to slow down. No, you can't escape me. I have to see your saucer. Come over here. Get over here. Let's see, let's see. Follow. Let's see, does it have an NX? Uh, no, it doesn't. Off with you. Red Alert Regulus. Regulus is always kind of iffy. We can go to Starbase 39 and take a shortcut from there. That's one drawback of the Red Alerts, is you're constantly, unless you have like all the Transwarps or an Excelsior, uh, they're hard to get to in time. In fact, even then, because you're on like a 20 minute cooldown. 20 minutes for the serious Sector block, like 15 minutes for the rest. Ooh, and I'm facing the right direction, that's rare. Whee! That one right there, unless you have that one. So Excelsior is pretty good for catching the intercepts. I'm not quite sure about fighting them, but then again, you know, your ship, your style, your kind of equipment, so I guess depends on stuff. That was very good, Alchemist, very good. And I'm spawning facing the wrong direction again. Make it so. It's funny because I'm in a galaxy. Is, is oh god, you again. Not right now. Accept. Exit. Oh, hi! How are you? Let's see. Accept. There's a venture. There's a venture Galaxy X. This is a new addition to the game. Can I invite you to team? No, but you're in the team anyway, so ha! Um, let's see. We've got... Ooh, the USS Paris. And we've got a uh, Rhode Island. So two of the new Sea Store editions are in our uh, team now. Nice. Uh, this is also a Klingon vessel. One of the th cool things about the Borg intercepts is that the Klingons and the Federation are now fighting alongside each other. So, Federation and Klingon players are now cross-faction teamed together. I'm not sure if he can join our team. You will become one with the Borg. Okay, asshole. You know what? You're, you're abusing that way too much. Yeah, voice volume's at... There you go. You need to shut up a little bit. You need to keep it down. If you can't keep it down, I'll keep it down for you. Oh, Chug. It is chugging a bit. Not as much as the first time, though. Nowhere near. Target shields have failed. Kill the Borg Sphere. Kill the Borg Sphere. Kill the Borg Sphere. So, yeah, that is a... Uh, What's that called? It's a Gorn ship. It's a Gorn vessel. But is there a Gorn flying it? He's an alien. He's not a Gorn. 
So he's alien gen. He's got a uh, hull repair drone. So is that a carrier? Is that like a, a light carrier or something? Your defensive capabilities are unable to withstand us. They've been doing a good job so far. Go away. Shut up. Shut up! Okay, so let's see. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shield has failed. Yeah, your tachyon beam ain't gonna do crap to me. Plasma fire. Clear those. Rear shields failing. I don't think so. It's a golden board cube. It's a legendary super board cube. Unfortunately, that didn't mean shit when it was up against us. Are they following me? Or are they following? They're following me. Nope. No, they're not. Well, I suppose that is the better option. Why well, fight a board cube when we can fight all of its little buddies? Ooh, you need help now. Will I get there in time? Um, uh, maybe. Yes. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Poor probe. You will be bored. We can't let the USS Steve Irwin fall, no. That can't be allowed to happen. In case you haven't noticed, I don't really like using full impulse all that much. I tend to like um, just using speed buffs, because when you use full impulse, your power goes down, and I hate that. You're gonna blow up. You blew up. Kishiro's gonna get hit by it. I think you should avoid that. Tanak, this is the second time I've had to save you. Hello. So you probably noticed the twang every time it shows up. V'ger first showed up in Star Trek The Motion Picture, and as I said, as I, as I was saying before, before I was rudely interrupted... Okay. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. 
before by that thing over there. Uh, the connection between V'ger and the Borg was made in a game called Star Trek Legacy, which was abominably bad. It was terrible. It was god awful. No, I won't. You'll make it. You'll give it the old college try, but you'll fuck up like all the rest. You Time forward, your culture. Oh, hello. Okay, bye. Target shield has failed. It's like anti air flak almost, isn't it? I feel like I'm playing free space whenever that thing starts shooting that shit at me. Oh god, I'm flashing back to the Sithonis' fucking laser turrets. Yeah, you ain't got shit, huh? Got shit on me. No, again with the target switching without my permission. Gonna blow! There we go. Well done. Well done, hull repair drone. Yes. Fly behind me and frolic in our victory. Give me one of those. I don't know, but I think the hull repair drones kind of like me a little too much. Oh shit. <laughs> um Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's not gonna work out. Yeah, sorry. That's funny. I never knew that happened. I never knew they reverted back to, like, enemies. Then again, story of the history of the Klingon Empire. They go back and forth more times than a yo-yo. Can't make up their damn minds. Exit to sector. There we go! That's what I was looking for. Red alert where I didn't fucking die. Mission accomplished. And uh, there's a better look at the uh, new venture. Uh, they're adding saucer separation, but I'm not sure... Actually, actually, no, I do know how that's going to work. Because what's going to happen is this is going to separate off 
and it's going to become like an energy shotgun, as I believe what they were saying on the uh, in the chat room. I'm pretty sure. I think that came from was it was it Captain Gecko who said that that the the spinal lance on the Galaxy X once they added saucer separation was going to become like the an energy shotgun. Not quite sure how I feel about that, but about the gal not about the energy shotgun, but about the Galaxy X uh, separating. Because it's kind of already got its own little thing, you know. Its, it's thing is that it's a big ass dreadnought. So, you know, adding separation to it, I don't really just. I don't know how I feel about that. Not at all. I don't not like it. You know, I don't I don't I don't hate the idea, I just I don't know. I don't know. But whatevs. So yeah, there were the Borg red alerts, and hopefully this footage won't be desync to hell and back like the rest of it has been. And uh, I'll have some more Rise of the Red Shirt soon. Hopefully, if it hasn't desynced. Uh, I wonder if Doomsday Machine is fixed as well. I hope it is. But the last time I went in there, like I said, I looked like Rayman from a horror... But like the horror movie version of Rayman. So, I don't know. This is a good mission, and I really wanted it to make it look good. And uh, that's kind of why I've been holding off. The hell are you? Don't know. Don't God. So uh, those are the Borg Red Alerts, and I'll see you guys later. So later.